This is probably the best book on strength training that I have ever read. I can tell that I'm going to come back to this book again and again for years to come, and it was absolutely worth the purchase price. Compared to other books that I've read recently that were maybe uh, way overpriced and I didn't really get very much out of, and I just bought them because it was the right thing to do, this is absolutely worth the purchase price and then some. A ton of hard work went into this, and thank you, Alexander Bromley, for making this book. It is really excellent. So the first 20 pages or so is basically a narrative. It's explaining and describing the journey of two lifters. The first is named Doug. Doug. Basically, he starts with bodyweight exercises, then he goes towards a traditional 5x5 program, and then it details his journey into uh, when he actually plateaus. This book is a plateau buster. When you plateau on a beginner program, this details what you should do. Are you doing too much? Are you doing too little? Uh, how to get over that wall. The second lifter was Rob. So basically, he trains in more bodybuilding type of style. So more variety, more variations, closer to failure, uh, more volume, etc. And I actually really resonated with this second guy. I tend to do all of those. A lot of variation, program hopping, you know, doing a lift too much, doing a lift too close to failure, just waking up destroyed all the time and then still going to the gym and, you know, doing 10 or 12 or 15 sets of deadlifts and then feeling even more shitty the next day and just doing way too much, way too close to failure and not taking a long-term view a long-term approach when it comes to training so both of these guys plateau but for totally different reasons the first guy plateaus because he's only been doing five by five he has very little in terms of accessories very little in terms of higher reps and he's just not getting an overall stimulus to keep growing and the breaking news overnight lawmakers appearing to reach a compromise on one of the final hurdles to a stimulus deal a nearly one trillion dollar package for lifting relief up against a deadline tonight a in a word his base is small and therefore his peak is also small and there's a reason why this book is titled base strength because it's about building your base and then transitioning and taking that base and building towards a peak in an intelligent and methodological way the second guy he plateaus because of the opposite He's been doing too much. He hasn't been recovering. He's just burned out all the time, and he's doing too much varieties, too much variations, and he's not focusing on the main lifts and getting in enough recovery in order to actually progress. So you have to find out why you are not progressing. There's always a reason. You're doing too much or too little or something else. Um, but if it's not working, the solution is somewhere in this book. You just have to apply it to your own training. One thing that I like about this book is, yes, it gives you some templates. Yes, it gives you some actual you know, set plans to do, but it still acknowledges the fact that you need to use your brain. You need to auto-regulate. You need to be able to apply this to yourself. And this isn't, you know, like a normal book where it just says, you know, do this and you'll get results. No, it requires thought and that's why it's going to be much more effective. It's giving you tools. It's giving you uh, structures in place to assess how you are doing and to be able to actually change what you are doing over time in order to get top results. This is not a book on exercising. It's not going to teach you how to squat, how to bench, how to deadlift, how to press. It doesn't talk about technique whatsoever. It is a book on periodization. It is a book on how to structure your training, which is just as important as how you do the actual exercises. If your structure of your training is not good, it's going to show. And this gives you the tools to actually analyze that and how to fix it in your training. And it's obvious that a ton of work went into this book. It's 132 pages, uh, but the font isn't huge as in some other books. There's no fluff pages with quotations or random BS. Uh, you know, everything is really just informationally dense, but it is also very, very readable. I read this in two sittings. The first was yesterday, uh, where I got to page maybe 80 or 90. And then the second was my wife dragged me to a friend's house. And so, you know, I'm on, a, I'm on sitting on the sofa, just like reading the strength manual. And they're like, come talk with us, come gossip. Nope, <laughs> not even once, bro. I'm here to make some gains. So then it gets into the different types of periodization. So uh, linear periodization, wave periodization, step loading, block periodization, etc. And uh, these are all good. And it always emphasizes the need for recovery and, you know, not to always go super hard multiple times per week because you will burn out. And it doesn't actually mention harder than last time, but maybe it's because I just read that other book, but it is definitely, it definitely felt like a pushback against train harder than last time. When it comes to strength, most strength athletes are not going to be maxing out all the time because simply put, they can't. If you do that all the time, you're not going to be able to progress just because you're going to be very, very fatigued. If you're consistently pushing over 90% on any single lift, you're going to burn out. It's just going to happen. And the more advanced you are, the more careful you need to be when you're maxing out just because it's more tissue damage, it's more joint stress, etc. And so, you know, I think train harder than last time can work for beginners who don't train that hard in the first place. But if you know how to push yourself, then it's even more important to know how to hold yourself back. If passion trumps wisdom, as it does for me a lot of the time, 
well, that's a pretty good way to go nowhere. And so, you know, reading this book was really eye opening. There's nothing wrong with keeping two or three reps in the tank, or maybe even four or five reps in the tank. It's more about building a baseline of work and then increasing that over time. But if you blow your load and go to failure too early, well, that's a very good way to go nowhere at best and probably backwards. Then it gets into the sort of a uh, prefabricated programs, and these are all really, really good. Um, one thing that I like is it doesn't just give you, you know, a bunch of weeks and then a bunch of percentages and then a bunch of exercises, but it actually tells you why, you know, where did it come from? Why is it good? What are the drawbacks? What to keep in mind when you're actually running it? You might have to throw in a deload every, you know, now and then. And it's not just giving you, you know, a paint by the numbers approach where you don't have to think and you're just like, oh, that's a one. I fill that in. That's a two. I fill that in. That's, I have to do everything by the book. It's more of a template to get you started. But it always says like you need to be able to auto regulate, you need to be able to think you need to be able to see how things are going for yourself and adjust things as needed. So I think it's good where a lot of programs out there, they're saying like, this is the program to do. Well, this is saying that, you know, a lot of programs are good. All of them that are good work for the same reasons. And you can use these uh, principles to actually build your own program. So this isn't the type of book where it's just you don't have to think at all, you still have to think, but that makes it even better than most books. Another thing that I liked is that there was the occasional sort of a sprinkling in of humor. It wasn't every single page. It wasn't, you know, every single five pages. That doesn't make any sense, does it? But maybe five or six times in the entire book, there was a point where, you know, I chuckled or I smiled just because there was a, a humor situation or a joke in passing, that kind of thing. Uh, it wasn't awkward or cringy. It was just sort of a uh, well-placed to, <laughs> to keep the tone lighthearted and the pages turning, so to speak. And then there was a sort of bonus, a 15 page or so section on Strongman, which honestly, I didn't really get that much out of it just because I'm not really interested in Strongman, but uh, it was just good to read and sort of affirm the principles that had been laid out in the entire book and just to get more examples of what good programming looks like. My one criticism of the book, um, maybe a couple more charts would be good. Uh, there's enough, I think, for most people, um, but perhaps a couple more would be good. Um, just because for me, it's okay, actually, but I think in today's day and age, you know, five or 10 or 15 pages in a row of just text for a lot of people, I think they're just gonna be like, they can't really handle that just because they're used to that swipe left or right type of culture, uh, or God forbid, TikTok, that kind of thing. So I think, you know, maybe the occasional chart or graph or picture might help just user retention and, and, and just to make it a little bit more digestible. Uh, also, the big one is going to be a table of contents. There was no table of contents that I saw in my version, and I think that would be good. Um, you know, it is broken down section by section, so that should be pretty easy. Uh, but just, you know, in the first section, just have, you know, uh, building your base and then just section by section. It's already sectioned off, so that should be pretty easy. So who can benefit from this book? Well, if you're an advanced strength athlete, you already know most of these principles or you already have at least been incorporating them into your training. Otherwise, you wouldn't be advanced. You'd be intermediate. So the two people I think would really benefit from this first and foremost would be intermediates like me. Some people think I'm an advanced strength athlete because I've been training for a while. No, not necessarily. You know, I've, as I've said, I've, I've messed up my own training a lot of the time for many years. So, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes to own your, your <laughs> poor choices and your failures on social media. Um, but I try to be as open as I can about anything about genetics, about, you know, me messing up my own training, about injuries, about anything at all, just because I think it's better, even if it puts you in a sort of vulnerable position, I think it's just more honest. So I think if you are an intermediate, if you find yourself getting injured a lot, if you find yourself, you know, just plateauing a lot, this is going to be super helpful, um, just because it gives you the tools to assess why you've been getting injured, why you've been plateauing. And uh, I think this should be required reading for every single intermediate. The second type of person would be a beginner. If you're a beginner, you can probably just progress linearly. You can just add weight to the bar every single week and you don't really have to worry about these things as much because you're so sensitive to training. However, you will plateau. It might be in three months, it might be in three weeks, it could be in six months, it could be in a year, but you will plateau. If you keep training, on a five by five program, on any kind of program, eventually you're going to plateau. And this is where I think these concepts can be very, very useful. Uh, and knowing about them in advance can help you to identify when you plateau and why you plateau. It's going to happen. And so you might as well be ready for it. And you might as well educate yourself earlier rather than later and wasting a lot of time. So for the $24, it was definitely worth it. That's still uh, three times higher than my book. I really need to raise my prices. But um, yeah, I think if you have my book, this actually is a really good complement to my book. My book is more uh, a general lifting type of book on a wide variety of categories of subjects of topics. But this book is more directly about strength, about progressions, about plateauing, periodization, etc. So if you want to know more about that, this is going to be an excellent resource. 
All right, that is all for this video. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already for some very strange reason. You can be one of my first million subscribers. Turn on notifications so that you decide what videos you see rather than the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you, hopefully, in the next video. Peace.